the first thing you want to do is just create the basic scene setup very simple two planes one is the wall and the other one is the ground to be able to create the cracks we need to create a texture so I'm using the electric bolts under the substance material and here you can specify the resolution for this tutorial I'm just going to keep it very basic very low res then you have the procedural settings for the noise you can play around with the parameters the most important one is probably the glow we want to um, eliminate it completely we just want to have a solid black and white image the length is where the animation is going to happen you can play with the width of the cracks whatever you like now I'm going to turn on the auto key and I'm going to put the length at zero depending on the frame length you decide how fast the crack will move so once we have this animation I'm going to put it on the diffuse, diffuse slot and apply it to the, to the mesh and I'm going to preview it to see how it looks so here is the animation and I'm going to change the direction of the crack doesn't really matter so this is the animation the next thing we are going to do is we are going to bake it to a diffuse texture in my case I had problems producing the particles uh, with the substance material so I needed to fix it and my solution was to bake it to a diffuse texture so we have the output then we are going to select the plane now we are getting the settings to project we are going to use an automatic unwrap we are going to bake it to a diffuse you can specify a name and the uh, output type you can also specify a resolution in this case I'm going very low just for the, the tutorial we are going to create a new bake material if you want to and click on render now it's going to bake the substance material to a, to a diffuse specify the range 0 to 100 and that's it we can click on render and now it's baking you can see at the at the margin it's not completely taking the um, the starting position but you can fix it by increasing the tiling in your bitmap later on so now I'm going to import the diffuse texture that we just baked so here it is we can delete the substance material we don't need it anymore and I'm going to preview it on the mesh okay so um, the unwrap we can flatten it we don't need it anymore I'm going to add a particle system PS source do not forget to put the viewport at 100% 
Here is the setup. Let's just create a new particle flow, new birth event, and we are going to use the birth texture. I'm going to disconnect this and then connect the new flow. So let's see, I'm going to select the birth texture icon. You can move it, it doesn't really matter where you put it. So let's see the settings. You have the amount of particles you want. I'm going to keep it standard. Where it should stop simulating. And we have the emission type. We want to use the material. You add the plane as a emitter object. So material. The whiteness, the lower you go, um, the more accurate the particles will be displayed on the texture. Okay, so you just click initialize and it's going to create particles on your texture and it's animated, which is very, very cool. So this is the basic setup to get the texture and the particles to work together. So let's see how we can animate the cracks onto the mesh. We are going to use a displace modifier. I'm going to add the turbo smooth and I'm going to increase the resolution. Now one thing I want to mention is I did have a little bit of problems using the birth texture. Um, after, no, before the turbo smooth. So I suggest using the birth texture after the turbo smooth. So I'm just going to link the animated crack to the displacement modifier. And I'm going to reduce the blur to increase the sharpness of the texture. Here you can see that the displacement is working, but we are lacking the resolution. So we need to increase it. In my case, Seven was working pretty good. Keep it subtle. So here is the animated displacement map. Pretty cool. So here is the result that we have at the moment. We have the particles and the displacement map working. You can even cache the particle flow if you need to. Then we have the birth texture. The shape instance, in this case, I just created a very simple group of a few objects. You can detail it as much as you want. It's a group, so in the shape instance, click on group, group members, object children. You can specify the scale and the variation. I also used a gravity force. Let me just rename this. These are the big debris. Then we have the force with the gravity, the spawn. This is um, creating a little bit of more detail. details. Um, these are very, very small debris. You can specify um, the inheritance, uh, how much particles you want, and the spawnable percentage, and the step size is the quality. Let's see what we have at the moment. You can see that this trails is produced by the spawn operator. So if I increase the step size, it will reduce the quality, as you can see. So the lower you go, the better it is. The spawnable is um, how much particles you want, and the inheritance, that is the, the trail itself. The higher you go, the less trail you have. The smaller you go, the more it, uh, it, uh, it follows the path. Then we have a second event. 
Then we have a second event. This is for the smaller debris. We have a shape instance for the smaller debris and the collision and the force are the same. It's colliding with the floor, as you can see. So let's see what we have. Let's see what we have as a final result. So let's see the final result. We have the cracks and we also have the dust falling down. And of course, um, if you have Phoenix FD, you can now create some dust elements with particle flow.